Good morning everybody and this is your Dow Jones setups for today. So I just want to just get these pin bars. I'll just put the one in, but you can see this pin bar here, how we tested it this week twice. So um, we'll get down to that on the lower time frames at the moment. But you know, we're in amongst the moving averages here. Now the question is, is this a continuation to the upside or are we forming some form of a flag or pullback consolidation for a break lower? There's no indication of, of what what it is at the moment. We have broken a bigger trend line. So let's just get that in. Oh, sorry, I lie. We haven't broken it. We are coming up to test it. That. So um, this level at 38.853 is critical. It's also the neckline of this inverse cup and handle. So when we get down to the three hour, there's nothing really that's changing here. Still amongst the moving averages. And if you look at price action here, fairly decent price action. You know, smaller bar, smaller bar, smaller bar coming into um, resistance. And there's another little resistance area right here, which we have broken through this morning. Nothing really to write home about at the moment because we are in between the moving averages. We do have a crossover here of the faster moving averages, which is always an indication something is about to happen or could happen. It doesn't always happen. And then when we look at the daily, um, now we've been above and below the moving averages for two days, just like all the indexes. So, you know, that's just an indication of confusion. So I'm not convinced either way. And what we will do here is just put another zone in. And there's one more level we need to put in. Okay, so uh, let's get down to 15 minutes. It's going to be the easiest. don't like the oscillators. The oscillators in the 15 minutes are just as bad. The first thing I want to do is just look for gaps. There's a gap in this zone. Um, there's a little one. A very tiny one. There, there's a big one. Uh, and there's another small one by the looks of things on there. So I think this is clearly something of interest. Uh, I don't see any fractals there, but anyway, that is something we need to pay attention to. Right, so what are we looking at? If we can maintain the moving averages as they are now. And uh, all honesty, yesterday's move was fairly strong. Big move, little retrace, big move, little big move. So fairly decent price action. So what we're looking for, remember you've got overhead resistance on the trend line, and then you've also got 38.850 as overhead resistance. So you don't want to be jumping in up there. What you're looking for is a pullback. Now this trend line from yesterday has broken. So I would argue you would be looking at 38.730. Uh, 38665 and then in between there you see this tail uh, at 38700 round number put it in that would also be an area that would hold up price potentially and then you've got this big area of uh, potential support here which would uh, be really really interesting and that's at 38614 and then you have a gap all the way down at 38522 but I think if you get as low as this then you're coming back down to test 38.379. So you could be in a big range. That's uh, what I'm getting at. So you could reject this area, and I suspect you're going to reject this area. Just looking at at the oscillators, looking at what resistance is here, and come back. And if you look on the hour, this little zone here at 38.614 makes the most sense. Uh, but then the 150 EMA is right here at 38.665. So those are the areas that I would be looking for an opportunity. Wait for the 15 minutes. You're looking for inside bars, engulfing bars, or pin bars. And then um, you're looking for another move up. I'd keep a small position in just in case this thing rolls all the way down here. Then that's a small loss. Uh, once you clear 38.853, uh, I'd be back to full position size, wait for the pullbacks, wait for structure, and then get moving to the upside. Because that, in my eyes anyway, breaks a trend line. I've got a cup and handle, so I should come back up to 
somewhere in this area at 39.328. Okay, but at the end of the day, if you look at the weekly, we are pretty much sideways. So either a range forming or a double top. Still no confirmation that the double top is out of play yet, although the buyers are coming in. You can see by these tails, the buyers are trying to force us to the upside. They are concerned that if we do drop below the neckline of the double top that we are going to fall relatively far. That's 37,260 and the move to the downside would be um, around 2,790 points. So it's going to trigger a move somewhere down to this area at 35,585. So the bulls are really trying to keep us afloat and keep this strong move up going. So they're trying to turn this into a bigger range. Um, but ultimately with a range, you would then need to wait for the break of the 40,000 area and retest of that before you get too excited. So anyway, that's because it's a weekly view. We're on the lower time frame, so we need to play around with the scraps here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so wait for the pullback, wait for structure, and do it on the 15 minutes. It's going to give you a little bit more sanity, to be honest. Um, wait for any of these moves here. Make sure your price action is exact. You can see on this level here, inside bar, and then two pin bars. So now you could have taken it above that inside bar. You could have taken it above the pin bar with the stop just below the pin bar. That would have given you the confidence you needed for the move up. But uh, yeah, this would have stressed me out anyway. So yeah, that's kind of me for today. Keep your wits about you. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.